Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're in my office. This is where I do my normal job. This was the tank that Humphrey, my flower horn, was previously in. And if you've seen my last video, you saw us move him from this tank down into a bigger, longer tank in the fish room. So he's down there, he's happy enough. We're cleaning this tank out. I've just been doing a bit of a basic maintenance, water change, clean it out, bit of a wipe down, getting it ready to move some new inhabitants up here. So we're going to move the angelfish, which are currently in the big tank in the fish room, back up here. They'll be fine in this tank. This is a tank that's just shy of three foot cube. Um, plenty of space. We're not going to do any aquascaping or do any specific build for them. This is purely a logistical exercise at this point. We're going to get those fish up here. The tank that they are in at the moment broken down and replaced with three new tanks or four new tanks. We'll see. But anyway, let's get this finished off. I'm just doing the water change at the moment. We'll finish that off. We'll go downstairs and we'll have a look at the challenge. So here we have the challenge. This is the angelfish tank. It's the big tank in the fish room. I'm going to replace this with several smaller tanks. So I've got some smaller tanks. You saw them in the last video as well from NACD Aquariums. And go and check them out. Very good quality tanks, but we'll talk more about that later. We've got angelfish in here. These were the angelfish that were sold to me as um, Altum angels, but they're clearly not. They're just your, they're very nice. They're just your regular bog standard silver, zebra, platinum, whatever you want to call them. The same name, different fish. No, same fish, different names. Um, what I'm going to do is just get a couple of the plants that we've got in the back in pots, move the pots into that tank and then get the fish get the fish into that tank, same water parameters, same house, same water supply, and we'll just call it a day at that. There are some bristlenose plex in here, there's a couple of other little oddballs in here kicking about, they'll get distributed around various tanks, just have the angels up and then we can get this tank emptied and broken down and replaced. Uh, but first things first, let's get the plants out that I want to keep, and I know for definite I'm just going to end up distributing duckweed around here because there's some duckweed in this tank as well. Um, these angels are fantastic, they play with you, they're very personable themselves, so I think they'll be a good addition to the fish room, uh, to the office rather, and out of the fish room. Hopefully, when they start to pair off, I'll get some breeding going on, I might bring a couple of them back down if they, if they do that. But yes, let's get them out first of all, so I need to find a bucket. So I'm going to use a, going to use a bucket to take these pots out, because even though they're in pots, they will drain water everywhere. So we've got an Amazon sword here. I could do with a few leaves tidying up, but it looks healthy enough. Get some good growth on that to come. Okay, we've got the plant moved upstairs into that tank. I don't think I'm going to move everything else. I'll just distribute that around the fish room. Time to get the fish. So we'll fill up my trusty bucket with some water. So it should just be a case of getting the trusty net out. Scooping them up, sticking them in the bucket, but I suspect they will all dart away and I'll end up having to tear down the tank a bit first, but we'll try. You never know, we might get a couple. Um, I don't want to scale them too much. They can be fast when they want to be. Quite interesting when you get up close to them. Some of them have got like a kind of bluey tinge and some have got a red tinge. So it kind of makes me wonder what kind of mutts they really are. We can have a closer look at them once we get upstairs. Oh, and swim in the net. Go on, swim in the net. You know you want to. Swim in the net. There we go. You, you little get. So plan B time, I'm going to have to break down the tank, get all this wood out because I'm just going to go and hide behind it constantly. So let's do that. Trouble with stirring all this stuff up is now the tank gets hard to see and all kinds of problems. I'll get my big terracotta dildo out. Look at that for a nice big old chunk of bog wood. That's a pretty special piece, I need to find something to do with that. Got some bristle nose plex in here that are flying around. Most of the other fish I'm just going to distribute around other tanks in the fish room. So I think I've got three or four more angels to catch. I'm going to find me net. I 
I'm just try and guide them there. See, this is one of the blue ones. I don't know if you can actually see that on the screen. This one here's got a blue tinge. This one's got a red tinge. But let me see if I can bring you closer and show you what I mean. So this one here's kind of got a blue tinge. I don't know if it's coming across properly on the camera. And then if I can get this one at the back to come round. Come on, buddy. Come round this way. He's got kind of a red tinge. Brilliant camera work here. I'm trying to focus with my nose. Yeah, there you go, red tinge. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. I'll show you Humphrey while I'm down here. He settled in really well to his new house. He's decided that he likes this sponge filter to be in the middle of the tank rather than at the end of the tank, and nothing I can do will convince him otherwise. But yeah, he's doing really well. Nice and bright, as you can see. Tank's gone, so now we've just got a nice big space. Um, I think it's about five feet in total, but I've not got five feet worth of tanks. Next job is just to get the new tanks in there, and just get them situated in the right place. I'm not gonna get them all connected or anything, I'm just gonna get them moved in, so let's do that. Whew. So what we've got is Three of these new ones, these are from NACD, they're an aquarium manufacturer here in the UK. Um, I've bought some of my smaller tanks from them in the past before, but they've done me a solid deal on these ones. And they're just box standard plain fish room tanks, glass sliders, 70 centimetres long, 50 high, 40 high, 40 high, and 40 wide or 30 wide. I can never remember, I'll put it in the description. But these are going to go end on, like so. They also come with these little mats, which are a little bit better than the polystyrene that they were on before. Um, these are going to go end on, so I can line them up here. I can fit four of them in this space, and then I can do some individual breeding projects. So that's the idea. So I'm not going to, because I'm hopefully going to be moving house soon. So I'm just going to get them here just now. We may well fill them up and put some fish in them before we move, but we'll see. Um, for now, just getting them off the kitchen table and getting them in here. So I'll get the rest in. And they're in. I'm not going to fill them up just now, but at least it shows you what they're going to look like. So we've got three of them in at the moment. It takes up the full space front to back. Uh, it leaves me enough headroom here to be able to get in and do things with the fish. They've all got glass sliders on. Um, I've mentioned before these are NACD tanks. You can find them on eBay or they'll have the website. I'll put a link in the description. A few people who are subscribed already have bought tanks from them based on my recommendations from when I got the smaller fish room tanks from them. 
and they've all been happy as well. So I'm not just saying this because they gave me a really good deal on these tanks. They are fantastic tanks, either for your fish room or just in general for display tanks. These ones have all got black silicon, um, glass sliders, nice thick glass, they're not skimped on really thin glass either. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting these filled up and getting something interesting in them. But for now, let's go and have a look at the angels and see how they're settling in. And that's the fish room for now. Maybe we'll come back and put some fish in later. So the angels are in. They are still a little bit wary. I don't think they enjoyed the move as, as much as Humphrey did, for instance. Or certainly they're taking their time getting back to their usual boisterous attitudes and behaviours. They've mostly been camped out behind the rocks and behind that plant. They've only really started coming out in the last half hour or so. But they'll get there. Hopefully they enjoy their new tanks. I'm going to enjoy having them here in the office so I can check them out more often. The water is still a bit cloudy from all the work that was done earlier. So apologies for that, but it will get nice and clear, no doubt, by tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think they enjoy the tanks. So this tank's a little bit taller, so I think they'll enjoy having that little bit more space that way. It's not as wide, but it's still plenty of space for them. So if this is your first time here and you like this kind of thing, please click on that subscribe button down at the bottom. It really helps me out. Um, and you won't miss any future videos or live streams. We do live streams every Friday or most Fridays. You can come and listen to me ramble on incoherently about any number of topics. Um, but usually try and get at least one video out a week as well. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.